Thanks for joining us tonight. Edmond firefighters and federal investigators are piecing together what happened before two construction workers fell into a manhole. Firefighters told our Barry Mangold what they encountered there. He is live at the scene near Coville and Midwest Boulevard. Barry. Yeah, Carl Amanda, the deputy fire chief here in Edmond said they used a tactical team to get into the manhole, which looks similar to the one you see behind me. Once they got down, they found the two deceased men, and that's when the operation switched from rescue to recovery. Firefighters, the state medical examiner, federal inspectors, and even the Red Cross all rushing to a construction crew after two workers fell into a manhole. Uh, this is the type of training that we do. Deputy Fire Chief Chris Denton said at 3.43 Tuesday afternoon, the city contracted company working on a sewer line reported two men falling 25 feet below ground level, where oxygen levels were dangerously low. Our air quality when we arrived on scene in the hole was 18.5% oxygen, which in our in our terms, that's oxygen de deficient atmosphere. At 5.30, News 9 confirmed a specialized rescue team had gone in and found the men deceased. There was no infrastructure failure of the pipe, according to the fire department. OSHA inspectors are investigating what caused the men to fall. It's hard on everybody. You know, our thoughts and prayers go out to families and the co-workers and the construction company all affected by this. Obviously a great tragedy. And tonight, the fire department did not release the names of the two men. We will continue to follow this investigation and we'll bring you more as we learn more. Live in Edmund Barry Mangold, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Barry.